are we going? To the waterfall. Are you excited? Yeah. So the Satariapu is the river that runs close to our place. We have to cross it to get to our house. It's about one kilometer away from our house. I think that is a little over half a mile. So Victoria wanted to hike up the river to see some beautiful waterfalls that were up there for her birthday. And we couldn't ever do it. It was raining and different things were happening. We had work that needed to be done, some planting. Now we finally got to do it with some Ukrainian friends. Okay, to start off, we usually go to the house of some friends who live by the river and we take a trail that is in the woods by their house. They live further up the river. The trail runs alongside the river and we are on the trail for about an hour and a half to two hours, I think. We could walk in the river the whole way, but it's pretty hard, so we like to walk on the trail as much as possible. And it's so beautiful, the trees, just it's just everything green. My camera does not capture the beauty. My camera does not do very good in the woods because of the bad lighting. But the trees are so big and everything's green and ferns and you like walking through this paradise and blue morpho butterflies and unique bird calls. We hear monkeys and it's just gorgeous. So this tree that we're coming up to here is, I don't, I don't know the scientific name for what the people call it here, but we call it the pink tree. They get absolutely huge and in June and, let's see, June and July I think, they get beautiful pink flowers. Like they drop all their leaves and the whole tree up there is just covered in pink, like baby pink flowers. It's so pretty. You can see as you're driving along far up. On the mountains you see these spots of pink. It's just beautiful. So we call the pink trees one of my favorite trees here. There are orchid plants growing up in the trees and unique mushrooms and leaf cutter ants crawling with their little leaves above them looking like little umbrellas. It's just my dream world and I just love it and I'm so thankful to be here. And here's Victoria and Soliana. Elder decided to take a nap on this rock while he waited for the others to catch up. And here's Moxine helping his wife Marina cross. In our day, there lives a father who loves his children so much that he gives them gifts. Everything that he gives them describes his great love. The trees, the rocks, the plants, the sky, and much more.
Some say that this father is not real, that he is a fake, that he does not care about his children, that everything we see is made out of nothing. But that is not true. I am his child, and I know because he's in my heart. I feel him and I see him in the beauty that is around me. He takes every rock and puts them in their place. He paints the trees and plants with health and rains down blessings upon them and they grow. The rocks, the water, the trees, the sky, all show his greatness, his pureness, his simplicity that is combined with his complexity, his awesomeness. The trees beckon me to praise him. Each leaf describes his creativity and his complexity. Each flower whispers to me his humility, his purity, and his beauty. The water sings his songs of joy, of peace, of purity, of cleansing, and of grace. Each rock, each stone, each pebble has its own uniqueness. Some are polished smooth and some are rough. Some sparkle and shine out. Some seem as though they were cut out of the Father's bare hands. Some say that this beauty is made by chance. I do not believe that. God the Father gives us these things through Jesus Christ, His Son. What do we do to deserve it? Absolutely nothing. Let us thank Him for His great love towards us.
heavenly Father, thank you for making me your daughter, and thank you for the beauty that you have put around me. Amen.